Citizens Forum. It is Wednesday, January the 29th of 2020. I'd like to start by thanking the volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program possible every couple of weeks. I'd also like to apologize for the long time that we, the old show was on, but we got stopped by Christmas holiday and then we got stopped by getting snowed out when the snowstorm happened, if anybody remembers that. So my first guest is Sharon Noble. We're going to be talking about 5G and um, probably a lot of people never think about 5G because it's never in the media. So maybe we can talk first about why this vitally important health and et cetera issue never gets talked about. I mean, nobody will talk to you. Good question, but let's first say 5G is fifth generation. It's not 5G like people have on their cell phones already. Like okay. That's frequency. We're talking about the fifth generation of cellular technology. And you're right, the only thing you hear about it is how great it's going to be. All of the ads tell you that you know, it's going to be faster than anything. Yes. It's going to allow you to download a movie three seconds faster or a game. It's going to bring in driverless cars yes. and all of these fabulous things. That's all you hear about. You don't hear about the problems, and there are many. And we've been trying to get it out there, but no one seems to be interested. There now, when you say no one, you mean not one politician and not one media person outlet. in the media. So you contact them. Yes. And there's just no response in, in answer to a question that you may have? Well, it's no different than a lot of things, though, Jack. I've, no, I've complained long and hard about the fact that when I sent out my smart meter fire report, I got absolutely no response. Right. Not from a single politician. No, you never do. N not from a single politician. Right. Never do. So no politician will talk about this. That's basically nope. the story. No. That's how important it is. It's so important that not one politician will talk well, about let's it. Well, let's clarify that. No politician in Canada will talk about it. There are some politicians, a few, in the U.S. that are raising it. Um, some state senators that are comparable to our MLAs and some federal senator senators that are comparable to our MPs are beginning to talk about it. Um, in other countries, it's much more important. There have been countries that have banned it. I didn't know that. Yeah, and which there are one? places like Brussels and sections yeah. of Switzerland I heard Brussels, and but Italy. Which country? Um, Italy, major sections. Banned it. Yes. Wow, God bless Italy. And it's becoming more and more. I should have brought my list, but there are quite a few places now that have banned it, and they're banning it until there is proof first that it's safe. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> cities and countries are banning 5G until they get proof that it's safe. Yes. And here, not one politician will even say it in public that 5G is here or coming, and not one media outlet will ever talk about the health impacts on us while other countries and cities are actually banning it for health reasons. How crazy is this country? But it's consistent. It's consistently crazy. Yes, it's consistent. Yes, yes for, it for is. For instance, where does our provincial health minister get any information? Where does our provincial health officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry, who says that there's absolutely, you go on the website and you will see that they will say, there's no worry about cell phones or cell towers or microwave radiation at all. And go no worries on, about 5G? No, not, nothing 5G about 5G. is just another portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Safe. Safe. Okay. It's, yeah. So are the there health the problems? Can the Cancer Society says it's safe. Yes. Health Canada says it's safe. Yes. But the other countries aren't like that. Many other countries, and also our safety standard, good old safety code six. Is the worst in the world. It's one of the worst of the yeah. world. And you ask Health Canada, they will say it's one of the best, and they will tell people that you can sleep with your cell phone 24 seven, and it's just fine. But that's not true. And other countries don't let their health agencies say such outrageous things. And other countries have safer standards. So Canada and the U.S. are consistent. They are driven by the telecommunications industry, the lobby group. And also there's immense power with money going into the government. Billions of dollars to buy their way into the spectrum. So, you know, there's a lot of conflicts of interest, Jack, that explain and all of And, you know, of one this. of the reasons is that 
a lot of other countries have proportional representation voting systems and it makes things more democratic. Here with our first past the post voting system, we're stuck with a political system that will not respond because it's, co it's, it's completely corrupted because it's an easier system for the corporations to control. It's also a different attitude. I lived in France for two years. There are rallies and complaints almost every week. The theory and the motto there is, the government should be afraid of us. We shouldn't be afraid of it. And I agree. They, they speak out. Yeah. And it's similar in Quebec. Yes. They get much more attention about things like 5G than we get here. We had rallies last weekend. It was on January 25th. It was the International Stop 5G Protest Day. Yeah, I, I saw it on the front page of all the papers. Yeah, sure, sure you did. I sent press releases out to all the papers, right. and to the radio stations, right. and to the TV stations. Right. Nothing. Right. I put out in my nightly update about you know how we were going to have a rally, and right. lots of people were going to show up. Right. Nothing. No. Nothing. No. no. Apathy. Did you contact the Green Party? Of course. And? Yes. I didn't no see response. any. So and they, did, when you, con you contacted the Green Party and the NDP yeah. and the Liberals, and yeah. there was simply no response, as not even a thank you, is there nothing? Well, I still don't ha have a response from any of them to my fire report that I sent out three yeah. years ago. So I should be surprised. No, you shouldn't be no, surprised, I'm but not. I'm just asking. And I'm not. And no. there is no response. No response. So you've written, let's say, to the... I have written, I have sent so many letters, and members of the coalition have written so many letters, Jack. Okay. And you know, many people find writing letters to be very, very difficult. When someone takes the time to sit down and write a, a long email, to document it, to explain their concerns, and then they send it off to their MPs or their MLAs, or and sometimes even their local governments, City and get Council. no response. So you mean you don't even get a response that thank you for sending the letter? Sometimes you'll be lucky and get a form thing like it's been received. That's it. That's it. Like no, yeah. It's well, that's how important 5G is. It's so important that uh, our, our governments have been told by the corporations they work for not to talk about this issue. And the media has been told by the corporations that own it not to talk about this. So let's talk about the health issues. Well, for, if I could uh, talk just um, okay. another minute. What's even more astounding to me is I've, I've invited people from the climate change group and from the environmental groups and I didn't hear anything from them either. And I think these are groups who should share our concerns because it, there is an environmental impact that's serious. There is an energy usage impact that's serious. There's a privacy issue that should involve everybody. And my major concern is the health issue, but you can't get other groups to get involved. You know, we're also We all specific. think we're working on different issues, but yeah. it's really all the same we aren't. We're all, we should be joining together. So, is there a health concern? Of course there is. It's on the, uh, it's, a micro, it's an electromagnetic radiation. It's on the high end. Now, one of the things with 5G, what they ultimately hope to use are milliwaves. These are very, very short frequencies, very, very short waves, very high frequencies, like 30 gigahertz and above. That have Whatever that means. In the past, well, you know, like in radio, FM is like at 100 megahertz. It's the size in, of the wave. The, the longer wave, the further the s signal will go. The shorter, and it has more power. It can, for instance, an FM wave from an FM transmitter, not a radio, but from a, a, a tower, from an antenna, can penetrate your house. It can penetrate houses for miles and miles. Well, of course, so that because you can get we can all listen to it sure. inside our houses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It can travel for 30, 40 miles easily. Not so with milliwaves. These oh. are very, very short waves that don't have a whole lot of power. But they can carry a lot of information, is that? Yes, and, it's, and the secret is it's going to be highly pulsed, and it really, really has a lot of waves on it. A lot, very, and it modulates a lot. It and it pulses. doesn't go very far. So, so this is there's why going Telus to be one or two on every block. Is that Telus the is installing microcells or small cells on utility poles every three or four houses? Every three or four houses. Yeah. What Thousand. do they look like? 
They're small boxes. If you go on to emrabc.ca and go under nodes. emrabc.ca. No, it's emr and it's abc.ca. There are a lot of pictures there about the, uh, for the, the microcell so people can take a look and see. But they're all over the place. They're still being installed, so not everybody has them. But the fact of the matter is, these will be sending signals into homes. They whether, will, you, whether you want it or not. You have no choice. Yeah. But the, once they start using the milli waves, supposedly it will only be um, signaling to the devices that you're using, the 5G devices you're using. But right now, those microcells also have 4G, fourth generation and third generation transmitters. So they're, at, they're going 24 seven. And some of these, if you look again on EMR ABC, there are pictures there where you can see that these are like 30 feet maybe from a bedroom window. You've got a cell tower outside your home. In essence, this utility pole outside your home has become a cell tower. Are there any scientific studies that suggest that this might be bad for someone's health? There are thousands and thousands and thousands of studies by independent scientists. And the studies have been around since the Second World War. That's when they started. And they've all indicated that there are the independent ones, the various health problems, ranging from headaches and you know, not being able to sleep well, all the way up to cardiac effects, to neurological effects, and ultimately to cancers. And the whole gamut is there. Now 5G specifically with these milli waves has not been studied that much, but the few studies that have been done are very concerning. In the past, milli wave technology has only been used by the military as weapons to, to crowd, for crowd control. So there really wasn't a need for any studies, but they're implementing it and introducing it now with absolutely no in-depth studies. So there we have it. That's the state of democracy and life in Canada when a bunch of corporations for their own insane desire for never-ending power and profit can come into our neighborhoods on every one of our streets, put up these uh, transmission systems and irradiate they can, us. They don't have to tell us. They don't have that's to why they're ask called us. tell us. Yeah, that's right. No, <laughs> they they, don't have no to tell because us. In, industry yeah. ISCD, which is formerly Industry Canada, yeah. has a major loophole, and it says as long as it's put on an existing structure, nobody has to know about it. We're working hard yeah. to try to change that. This was written years ago when you had cell towers far, far away. You know, well, far they were still too close to home. The whole system is corrupt. That's the problem. The, in the entire system is. Or this couldn't be done to us. I mean, to not even tell people that, while at the same time they're all so concerned about coronavirus, you know, but here, uh, they... Well, things get recalled, Jack. If two or three children get hurt or threatened, and I'm not saying that's not right, a hoodie will be recalled because a child yeah. could choke on it. That's appropriate. But what about recalling a cell phone that a child is sleeping with or a microcell yeah. that's outside that child's bedroom? Parents aren't even told no. because our provincial health authorities, Health Canada, the World Health Organization are not giving accurate information. Well, they're totally corrupt. Well, they are by and large um, associated and paid for by the industry. We need true independent science out there and we're just not getting it. Uh, but uh, actually, the science is out there. We're just not getting it. Well, we're not getting it. So that's the media, right? They all work together. The governments, the media, both controlled by the corporation. And here we are. Well, and we've got big consequences that future generations are going to be paying for. The kids watching this are going to be paying for it because their health is involved. We're ruining the environment. We're killing the pollinators. The trees are going to be affected because there are going to be thousands and thousands of satellites out there shooting yeah. these milli waves into forests all over the world. Yeah, right. We haven't even had time to talk about the satellites, but we're out of time. Sharon, thank you very have much. have to come back and talk about it. It's a nightmare, it. folks. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. <laughs>